Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math video number 72. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel 2010 Business Math Chapter 9, click on the link below the video. Hey, we're in Chapter 9 on the topic sheet. There are our topics. We are covering sections 9.1, 9.2, and 9.3. And we're going to start on the Interest tab. Now, here's the borrower. That's you. Here's the lender, the bank, or someone else. You go out and borrow a hundred bucks. So the loan amount is a hundred bucks. Now you're going to borrow this hundred bucks and then do something useful with it in your business, hoping to you know help your business by borrowing the money. This is called the principal. Now the interest paid, we'll see how to calculate this next video, is ten dollars. That would be in the contract. The loan issue date, this is when you first went to the bank and signed the contract and they gave you the hundred bucks. The loan due date. Uh, in this uh, chapter 9, most of our loans are going to be one year or less. This is exactly one year later, so on 131-2013. You, the borrower, has to pay the original principal and the interest. And these two things added together is called amount you paid back or maturity value. So $110. Right? You pay interest. So you pay the interest to the bank. And it's a negative because when you pay it, it comes out of your pocket and it goes to the bank. The bank gets interest from you. So that's a positive. You would record a, an interest going out as an interest expense. And the bank would record interest coming in as interest revenue. All right, now, what is interest? Well, we kind of just uh, um, went through a little bit. But in, at its essence, it's really rent on money, right? The bank or the lender, whoever it may be, made an investment, right? They made an investment. They gave you the money and then later they're, they're, you're gonna get, the bank's going to get paid back plus some extra interest. That interest is revenue. That's what the, the bank or the loaner, the, the lender, whoever it may be, that's why they lent it to you, right? So they can make some money. This money is called interest. So um, rent on money, it's a great way to think of it, just like a rent on a house or an apartment. It's a contractual fee charged to, to borrow money. If you are the borrower, you pay interest to the lender. If you are a lender, you get interest from the borrower. Now, I actually have this line right here. So as I scroll, if I use my scroll bar over here, and scroll down or my wheel, you could see it's going underneath. It looks like it's hiding under there, right? That's called freeze pane. So that's set up this way. You could see that from nine, there's a bunch of rows missing. But that's so we can just talk about terms and still have our original example up here. Principal, that's the amount borrowed, lent out, or invested. And you use this word whether you're the borrower or the bank the or the lender. Uh, principal. So if you borrow the money, that's debt to you, right? It's debt to you, but we call it principal. If you're the bank, it's an investment, right? You're hoping to get your original 100 back later plus some interest. In either case, we call it principal, the loan amount. From the point, borrower's point of view, it's debt. From the lender's point of view, it's an investment. Now, this video is just a brief video that talks about interest, right? It's rent on money. That's the main point of this video. But in sections 9.1, we're going to talk about simple interest. And this is not correct. This will be uh, chapter. I should have an editor. So really, simple interest is going to be chapter 9. So we're going to cover three sections. And then later, we'll talk about what's called compound interest. We love compound interest. So what is simple interest? Interest is paid on principal only. Usually, simple interest is, may, is cal the calculation you make for interest on loans lasting less than one year. In essence, we'll say the original principal times some percentage. And uh, that will be our interest. In chapter 10, we'll learn about compound interest. That's when there's multiple years. And from an investment point of view, or from a borrowing point of view, uh, the interest is calculated differently. And we'll see how to do that in chapter 10. 
Another term, I'm going to scroll down here. You can see 9 to 23, so there's some missing rows. As I scroll down here, you can see I'm now it's from 9 to 30. Promissory note. This is just the term to describe the contract for debt. It's a legal document in which the person with in which in which if only I could type. All right, a legal document in which a person or firm agrees to pay to another a stated amount of money plus interest computed at a stated rate at a stated time in the future. Now, why do they keep saying stated? Because you can't just uh, leave details out. So a stated amount of money is this. Here's how much we borrowed, the principal. Plus interest computed at a stated rate. In the contract, it's got to say 10%. Or it could just say $10, too, at a stated time in the future. So in order for it to be a promissory note, you have to have the principal, whatever the rules are for calculating interest, and when it's due. Right? So one, two, three. The term for the person borrowing the money, maker, payer, debtor, any of those are fine. The person lending the money, payee, creditor. Term, term is going to be the length until the note is due, given in months or days. For us, simple interest in chapter 9. The contract will say, oh, six months. You get to borrow this for six months. Or 270 days or 90 days, right? So term. This word term means the length of the loan. That word term is used for uh, loans more than one year also. But for us, in this chapter right here, our term will always be given in months or days. The issue date, we already talked about that. That's the date the loan is made and the due date. For note or maturity date, day principal and interest is due. All right, that's just a little um, short video on interest and the terms. In our next video, we'll start calculating simple interest. All right, see you next video.